beautiful house. I wouldn't mind having the house myself, to be honest with you. Look over here. This floor is just all mangled up. And rather than trying to weave new pieces in, we're just gonna take the whole thing out and replace it with the exact same stuff. That stuff is not meant for flooring. We were walking on it and it was giving in different places and it just seemed really cheap. So we had to completely tear that out. That's why we couldn't put it down. I'm sure the family will love this. This will be their new area where they can hang out and cook a little barbecue and hang out on the front porch and watch the scenery out here that Williams created. Yes. I think it'll be fine. The creme de la creme, Jimmy's masterpiece for this house. Built in seats and bookshelves for this entire room. Look at this room for the girls with the new bed and to save space. We got the drawers right there on the bottom of the bed. Everything is moving along. Boom, boom, boom. Mom and daddy's room. We're going in right now. We got all the paint finished in here. Everything's going on. Putting new ceiling fans in. New ceiling fan. Oh. New green paint. I'll let you have one guess as to who helped choose the color on this. Man never stops. William ripped all this stuff out and put cool new plants here. I'd love to tell you what kind of plants they are. They look like big blueberry ice cream cones. I don't know what they're called. Dude, you ready to put this fence in? I know it's hard work. You already hot, dude. I know. It's hot man. out here. You sweating it all up. That's a good haul. Getting better. Cleaned up. Big time. time. You already got it. We've got so little time and so much more to do. Tons of stuff I got to get there. I'm the hardware. Flooring, and you got a couple sheets of plywood. A couple sheets of plywood, yes. <laughs> we need the accessibility for Ray to be able to move around in his house. I like the feel of real hardwood floors, but I also like the ease of the install on the laminate floors, so I'm gonna try to get with a happy medium. This has the ease of putting in like a laminate type flooring, but this is actually real hardwood. Gonna need tons of that backer board. I actually do, I need a lot of these. We need one of these boys right here, don't we? Are you getting stuff we actually need, or are you just shopping for fun? I'm shopping for fun. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what's going on in here? Cutting something, making a mess. We're putting plumbing in. Finally. Which is good, because I've been needing to use the bathroom now for about two days. I'm in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Fran? Yes. Hey, how you Hi. doing? I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you. That yeah. thing looks right. But I've got one more that I'm working on that I need help with. Let me get an apron for you. Excuse me, a what? No, no, no. Everyone okay. wears an apron in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm a contractor. I'm not a baker. First, we're going to do the dough, all right? All right. Take your heel of your hand and push forward. This yeah, is kind of like you go. peeling potatoes. You exactly. Are you afraid of knives? With you holding it like that, yeah. Okay. I love pie. Apple pie. Set it right there. All right, now I'm going to let you roll it out. Light touch. Feminine touch. Got it? Very nice. Bake, so, bake. I think I've got my pie crust here. That's is this pie summer? crust or is this top of pie? That's pie crust. Okay, so here's our apples. What I've done, I have... Cranberries. We've got a nice big spatula here. Mix it all up. Okay, now we have one more secret ingredient. Was this window cleaner? No, it's rose water. Rose water. Yeah, three or four squirts. You're going to take your apples and you're going to try to fill it in. You can use your hands. They're clean. Now fold it up. Yeah. Pull it up and clean. Yeah. My first apple pie. Good job. Thank you. No one seems to want to buy it. How much do you think my pie is worth? Well worth the ten dollars. Oh, and it is so. Jane was my biggest customer because I think she was having a little mercy on me. You did real good. Okay, we're getting you guys. How many pizzas are we getting? Fifteen. Fifteen cheese. Half cheese, half pepperoni. Half cheese, half pepperoni pizzas. How are we going to pay for it? Mastercard. Oh. People are passing out from hunger and, and cold. There is an amphitheater down there on the Riverwalk that was not there two weeks ago. It's a big, beautiful structure with a nice fireplace, beautiful seating. It's something these people can be proud of. Our new concrete pad is going to be this height, so there's not going to be any step down. You're going to come right out of here. It's going to be a big, beautiful arch-shaped concrete patio. 
By the way, with all new furnishings. I am so happy to be here to pick up the new sign for Cowens. Everything we're doing there, the old sign will just not work. I'm here to get the new sign, so I'm gonna go pick it up right now. Oh, yeah. Ben, you have done me right, man. Hey, thanks, man. That's right. Oh, dude, that is sweet. Let me back up and take a look. Oh, man, that is right. It should look good. That is really, really good. Here's your MasterCard back. Thank you. you. Sign this, please. Sure. You guys did a great job with this. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing it out there. All right, appreciate like it. this evening. Thank you. See you later, Ben. See you. Here we are. We're coming down the final home stretch here at Cowan's. We've done all this work out here today. We have painted the exterior of the building completely. We got all new colors. We got new red, white, green, cream out here. So it all looks all brand new, nice and clean. And the final touch on everything, we got this big, beautiful new Mile High Pie sign. And we are ready to put it up right over there. And then we will have our final touches at Cowan's. And we should be ready to open up first thing tomorrow. Oh, all right, a bakery case. Man, cool, it's refrigerated and only weighs 700 pounds. One, two. See you later. Go get some people. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steve, Steve Frazier, otherwise known as Iron Man. Can you pick this whole thing up by yourself? You want me to? No. I do. Actually, I do. I, I don't want to pick it up by myself. I think we need some more help, my man. Bye-bye.